So in this video, we'll be looking at file uploads in Splayed and we'll be uploading an avatar for the student. So for that, let's go to the documentation and check out the file component provided by Splayed. So inside the form, you can use the file component, passing in the name. Let's also see the other options that are available to us. We can also enable the image preview. We can use file pond. And what else do we have? Validating, we can uh, validate, validate the image in the component code itself. And okay, we can also get remote files from a certain URL. So maybe uh, one of the options could be we can let the user enter the URL and then from that URL, we can fetch that. So yeah, a simple demo has been given here. And there's also an option about asynchronous uploads and a lot of stuff, but we'll be implementing this in a simple way. Once you get an idea about this, then you can maybe move further uh, to advanced topics. So let's go ahead and first include the file component. And what I want to do is, okay, let's copy this component and place that inside the create page. Okay, we have that here. So let's go to the create page. And after the select option, let's place that file component. The name is gonna be avatar. We are also gonna use file pond. Let's also uh, implement the minimum size. Okay, that's all up to you. How do you wanna implement it? But I wanna keep it, I wanna keep it 50 KBs and let's give a max size of 2 MB and I also want to enable the preview feature and what else do we have and we also have the validation so let's also do that validating the this one there was an accept prop that we can pass where was that okay, let's search accept okay here we have that so accept image or PNG so let's also add that okay now let's test this thing out go to the browser it already reloaded let's click on create okay the design looks a bit bad so let's add some classes to this margin top of five to keep the things uniform and let's reset because we have some filters applied in here it won't really matter but still okay let's click on create and we can choose a file and maybe on the designing part it's all up to you how you want to customize it okay yeah the file pond code actually executed later and now it looks a bit better so where do i have some pictures okay maybe i don't have that in here okay let's select this image let's select that and that preview is also now visible to us so the file size is 51 kb so yeah that's just above the validation so let's work on storing the image so that's what we done on the controller side so let's go to the student controller and i also want to implement some server side validation so we should not rely on client side validation at all so we should always implement the server side validation so for that we have a student store student request class and let's implement the validation so avatar let's see what github copilot suggests now level image max 1024 so i think we are gonna apply the image validation and since we have the image in null level that's fine for now the use case for you could be different so i'm just implementing a simple one and let's work on the controller part now so we have the section we are creating the data and let's get the avatar so we can get that using request file avatar let's also get the name so we can get that using avatar get client original name yeah you can use that let's go ahead and dd these two and name we won't actually need the name i guess maybe we should uh, use the hash name we have that property yep so that we can randomly generate that name to avoid some collisions with the existing images or records so okay let's test this thing this should work some name 
email address the phone number is populated let's select a section click on submit and okay we get that hash name and also the file so that is working and by the way what we can also do is we can use some service classes and some patterns of that kind to keep our controllers clean so that's all up to you how you want to implement that so storing the files and uh, dealing with file uploads uh, that's a totally different topic in laravel and in web apps in general so i'm just giving uh, giving you an overview about dealing with these splayed components so file upload components so we are going to implement this in a simple way so here we get the file and we also get the name okay so we can use the storage facade to store our file and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it inside public avatars and the file is actually avatar and that's going to store it inside the public folder and inside avatars so we need to update the avatar column field in the student model as well so what we can do is along with class id we can store the avatar data and that's going to be a related path so we'll store that inside storage avatars and then the name of the image so that's going to create a related path for us and then we can later use the asset function to access the files directly once we link our storage folder to the public folder so let's go ahead and test this thing out and we'll work on displaying the image in the later parts so let's go ahead and okay maybe we can reload this thing but let's create a new student with a value of some name some mail phone number and let's select that file again and hit submit okay this seems to work and okay we haven't implemented the toast message in here so that's why we didn't see any messages let's go ahead and log in and check out our database okay i think we have that inside users okay we don't have that avatar in here okay i think i was working on some other stuff in here so that's the reason we don't have that data so what i'm going to do is i'll just migrate a fresh migrate fresh the data and then seed it and we also have the seeders so that means this should work and now we can test this thing so let's again click on browse and now we don't have that avatar in here okay inside students actually so we have that avatar as null so let's go ahead and try it once again unauthenticated okay we were locked out because we just migrated the data and we don't have a user so maybe we should also define a new user seeder but that's fine let's go ahead and register a new user admin admin at the rate okay not this register and now let's test it out okay i'm gonna select an image and then finally test it out one last time hopefully and we are redirected to the index page so let's go ahead and test this thing and i think we can do some sorts in here some sort of sorting okay by id okay how did that work out so we have that okay we have an, okay we have a temporary file directory in here okay i think i found the issue we are using the request validated and then again using the avatar so request validated already consists of the avatar property because we are also using the we are also validating the image so that could be the reason so i think we have what we can do is we can pass these above the request validated so one of the ways could be this and this should work so i'm just making some workarounds in here so the most optimal way to implement this would be instead of uh, passing in the request validated you can pass in all the records one by one so maybe i should do that let's go ahead and do that so we can pass in the name that's gonna be request name what else do we have we have the email we have the phone number and 
we are already okay we don't have that okay that's the only field we need so this should now work properly okay let's also bring this up and it looks a bit so that it looks cleaner and okay that should work now so let's go ahead and try this thing out so let's click on create and i'm not really sure why it's only always redirecting to this directory because i already selected this folder earlier so it should remember that but it's not working okay let's select that image and click on submit okay this has been already taken so again click on submit and this is out okay this resets the sort okay and now as you can see we have a full path for storage avatars and then the image name so that looks good so in the next part we will be working on displaying the data so image data on the table and also work on populating the edit page with that image so see you guys in the next one